What's up, blockchain rockstars, deep and diehards, and people still trying to figure out how to split a bill at dinner without causing a civil war? Yes, Derek, I'm talking to you again. Welcome back to the Core Chronicles 7 Part 2, where we continue to break down the Kotec ecosystem, making it both fun and, I like to think, intimidatingly awesome. I'm still... Here, you're breathing, still pushing the envelope, CEO Orchid Lopesher. <laughs> and today, we're diving into the coolest innovations you've ever heard of. We're talking about unstoppable payments that make traditional banks look like they're stuck in dial-up. 3D printed tech that will make you feel like you're living in a sci-fi novel and so much more. So pour yourself a drink, ladies and gentlemen, or two, and let's get to it. First up, let's talk about unstoppable payments. Now, I know what you're thinking. Orkert, payments are payments. How unstoppable can they be? Well, let me break it down for you. Unstoppable payments are like your classic Visa, MasterCard, or Swift payments, except without the, I'm sorry, your transaction has been declined nonsense. So when we say unstoppable, we mean it. These payments run on top of existing systems, but once they're on the blockchain, well, game over. They can't be censored, blocked, or tampered with. You can choose the settlement network, set your ICANN address, design recurring payments, and even split transactions like you're the world's slickest accountant. Fiat conversions, expiration, and design options, yep, all included. So while Derek's bank flags his payment for buying a harmless cactus online, your unstoppable payment goes through. No questions asked. Trust me, this is the way payments should have always been. Next up, ICANN Settlement. Think of this as Paytu's overachieving cousin who doesn't just settle payments. It does it instantly for small amounts and within seconds for high volume transfers. What makes ICANN settlement special, you might ask? Censorship resistance and the fact that you don't even need an internet connection, of course, if you're operating on the Luna Mesh network. Pay2 executes these settlements in any form. Whether it's an NFC tap, a QR code, or a good old-fashioned button clicking. And while Derek is still waiting for his PayPal refund from 2017, you'll be executing high-speed unstoppable settlements with zero stress. ICANN doesn't care about your Wi-Fi signals, nope. It's sort of like, like the postal service, but way cooler and actually reliable. So... Now, let's get into 3D printing. You thought blockchain was all about numbers and cryptography, right? So think again. We've been working on some sick 3D printed models for decentralized environments. These aren't just uh, for show either. We're talking NFC tags, decentralized storage holders, CryptTube models, and so much more. Our team is also developing 3D designs for IoT devices. Because let's be real, if you're going to be part of the decentralized future, why not make it look good, right? Picture sleek, futuristic gadgets that work in your home environment. It's not just technology, it's a lifestyle, and we all know that. So, in the meantime, Derek is probably still using his 3D printer to make plastic toys for his cat, which, no offense, but you'll be printing out decentralized storage models that actually matter. So go ahead, be the future. Let's go to decentralized storage. 
We've deployed and tested various storage setups for IoT devices and have synced them with Drizzle ORM and UniQuery. This isn't just for run-of-the-mill cloud storage. This is personal node storage, where you don't need the internet to communicate whatsoever. Imagine having your very own decentralized setup that works wherever you are. Need to store and sync data in the middle of nowhere? Easy! Whilst Derek's still saving things to his desktop, you'll be running a decentralized storage setup like a true digital wizard. So next up is Svetelkit, the DAP framework that's taking over faster than Derek can say what's a DAP. Now, we've done some serious research, people, and it turns out Svetelkit isn't just secure. It's ridiculously easy to learn. This makes it perfect for anyone who wants to deploy their own DAP solution, whether you're a seasoned developer or just getting started. So, connect your decentralized hardware and blockchain infrastructure with ease. While Derek struggles with installing WordPress, you'll be building decentralized apps that actually matter. Who's laughing now, right? <laughs> Speaking of dApps, we've designed a template that's the perfect starting point for your next Web4 project. And yeah, you heard right, Web4. Because Web3 is so last season. This template lets you work seamlessly with blockchain data and decentralized devices. It is more than a template. It's a proof that Core Deepen infrastructure is the future of decentralized application. Whilst Derek's still trying to figure out how to send an email attachment, you will be launching the next big thing in dApps with no big deal. We couldn't leave out Core Blockchain, of course. So... The Rust client is making some serious progress with crates that are easier to manage and more interoperable than ever. We're also revisiting random Y implementation to ensure we're keeping up with the latest changes. This gives us the base for YLM 2.0, which will interact with many programming languages. This is the backbone of our entire infrastructure. And while Derek's still learning Python, we're out here fine-tuning a blockchain that's more reliable than his Wi-Fi connection. Now, for the developers in the room, we've got the FoxR Dev Toolkit, um, which is basically for building smart contracts on core blockchain. This toolkit integrates perfectly with the CBC20 standard and comes with everything from contract templates to deployment scripts. Think of it as your Swiss Army knife for building, testing and deploying decentralized applications. Derek's still figuring out what a smart contract even is, but you'll be deploying them with the efficiency of a blockchain wizard. Finally, let's talk blockchain index. Because data nerds need love too, right? Like me. <laughs> we are currently designing the overhaul of some killer new features in the block index, including enhanced search options by transaction, block, token, name, or even QR code and core pass integration for secure login and KYC or KYB verification. We're also in the process of adding customizable dashboards, CSV export, ad-free browsing, because why not? And, uh, and a scam address list. So while Derek's still browsing the internet like it's 2003, you'll be enjoying your pro features in style. Welcome to the future of blockchain indexing. And that's it for the Core Chronicles 7 Part 2. I'm Okert Loebscher, proudly Core. And as always, we're just scratching the surface of what's coming. If you're not already hyped, let me remind you, we're shaping the infrastructure that will drive insane demand for XCB and CTN. And when that demand hits, it's going to send the markets into 
the stratosphere. So, like, subscribe, and share this with your friends, or, you know, Derek. Because the future is here, and you don't want to miss out.